there's a link between a student's sense of belonging, um, you know, apart from their own sense of self-esteem, but their belonging to family, school, community um, endeavours, whether it be sport or something else, creates a huge part of their identity. And then when they transfer into the workplace, that in turn, you know, what, what they do in their work also then starts to feed into their sense of identity and, and can become central to their sense of identity when work becomes the sort of big thing that they do. So um, I think we need to spend some time thinking about this. And I know that um, community sport has had a huge impact on the mental health of, or the lack of community sport has had a huge impact on the mental health of our students at school. Um, I know even for my own children and um, you know, people that I know, it's that connection to community. I don't think it's going to bounce back automatically. I think especially for teenagers where if they feel unfit or they feel like they have lost their skill in a way, they don't want to put themselves back out there and throw themselves back into something. So I think for a lot of students, actually re-engaging them in the wider community needs to be a focus. And, and places like schools, will need to work with community organisations and NGOs and whoever we can get on board to try and um, work with students to enable them to feel comfortable in in finding that sense of self again, whether it's through things that they used to do or as you said, there might be new ways that we can engage people into the community. Those who are strong and robust is that there's always op there's always opportunity in life, you know, if you if you can find it. Um, so we just don't know what that looks like. But yeah, for the ones who are vulnerable, I think this could be a really, really, you know, you'd, you'd be worried that the, and this is again where organisations like Iowa, why I fought for YouthWorks for so long, not just, and I think there needs to be lots of organisations like YouthWorks doing work in this sort of intermediary space, is that there's there's young people who, if if they don't kind of, at a certain moment in their life, if they don't, have the right environment to kind of open up a part of themselves they can close down you know this is my my view that they can close down in a way that then becomes very the, the choices just start to become narrower and narrower and narrower to the point where you your life either leads you to um you know a jail cell at the worst extreme or or um just a life of dependence and the welfare system can't just be technologically driven, that human connect has actually uh, played a greater part and we need a balance between the two to be able to keep moving forward. So I think that that's probably been a real a highlight for me. Um, so it's actually sort of forced you and forced society to just reevaluate the core values and, uh, and functions and then look at how humanity and technology can work together. There's a great opportunity now. So I tend to see change as more of a, um, as a chance for um, improving and as a chance for moving forward rather than I don't take a pessimistic point of view. I think that there is a chance for um, students to actually have a greater um, voice and agency so that they can actually lead the change. They're the ones that actually have gone through this change. They know what they need most of all. Now everything's moved online. There's so much going online. That's a real opportunity. Yeah. You can easily talk to groups, significant groups of people from different areas, regions, um, get young people's input. But I think also, you know, there's lots of talk about co-design now and, um, you know, not just consulting, but actually getting young people to be part of solutions and supporting their ideas. And I think there's probably a lot that could be done there as well to, yeah, encourage young people's responses and solutions as well. I think that also gives a sense of hope that um, there are things that they have to contribute and that could actually help in the recovery.